In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best platform for recording video calls online for podcasts. The platform I'll be showing you is called Riverside and they allow you to host video calls in the highest quality. So 4K in most cases. And yeah, this is a great option for people that wanna make interview and podcast content, but they don't have the ability to meet the other person face to face. So here I am on Riverside and if you guys click on the link down below, you guys can check it out as well. But basically right here, you guys can see how it works, right? You have the speaker and then you also have the guest. And another really unique thing about Riverside side is that it actually allows you to have separate tracks. So as you can see right here in this picture, they have a track for Poland and they also have a track for Steven. So this separates the audio and video for both you and your guests. So that way when your video is getting edited, it's a lot easier to mess around with it. So now let's take a look at some of their pricing plans. So they have a free plan as well as three other paid plans. The biggest difference between the free version and the standard version is that you have no watermark and you also have up to 4k video quality. So if you're fine with 720p video quality and you're also okay with having the watermark on your videos, then you could start off with the free plan, but you will only have two hours of separate audio and video tracks. Right now we have the standard plan, and this is the one that I recommend for most creators, but obviously you guys can just get started with the free plan, or you can just upgrade to the pro as you go along. But now to show you guys what the studio looks like, you guys are probably gonna see a page like this, but it's gonna be blank, so you're not gonna have any studios. And in order to create one, you're gonna go ahead and click on new studio right here. And now is where you can give it a name. So this is usually just the name of the guest, and then you're gonna be able to choose the recording type. So if you're just doing audio, then choose this as well as the transcription language. And then once you've entered in a name, so I'll go ahead and name this one test studio. I can go ahead and enter the studio or I can continue to set it up. If I go ahead and continue to set up, it's going to bring me to this page where I can schedule it out for a specific date and time. I can also invite any participants so they don't have to have a Riverside account. If you add their email, all they have to do is just click on the link that's emailed to them. And from there, they could join in, use their webcam and become a guest. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on create show. And now, as you guys can see, I am now inside of the test studio. Right here, I'm at the recordings, so there's obviously no recordings yet. But once I actually restart recording, it's gonna upload all the separate audio tracks and video tracks on here. Up here, we have the link to share it with anybody, as well as the button to invite using email. I can upload a recording right here, and I can also just go straight to the studio right here. Before I do that though, I wanna go into my settings and mess around with some of that. So if we go ahead and we scroll down, we can go ahead and require guests to wait in the lobby. We can also change it from center frame to full frame. And this is basically gonna allow everybody in the call to see the entire frame. The recording is always gonna have the full camera frame, but this is just for you to see on the call. So it's recommended to choose the center frame. This is gonna slightly crop everyone else's videos. But yeah, this is recommended because it's gonna drastically improve the performance. If I scroll down even further, you guys can choose even more settings like removing background noise. You could select the audio sample rate. You can go for optimized quality or you can go for advanced quality. This is where you can start to go up to 1080p or even 4K quality. And you can also to change the frame rate as well as the transcription language if you didn't already set that up. And you can also change some of the other settings in terms of the recording start as well as the audience count. Down here, it's also cool because you can live stream to all these different platforms. If I scroll down even further, you guys can upload your logo if you want it on the screen. You can also set up your Dropbox to connect to Riverside so that all the uploaded recordings are gonna be saved to Dropbox. And then of course, you can also remove the studio. If you guys have any issues, this is the question mark button for the customer support. So you guys can go to the help center, the university, University, the FAQ, or you can just go ahead and talk to their chat support. Now let's go ahead and actually go into the studio so that you guys can see what that's like. So now you guys can see that I'm on camera and it's choosing the FaceTime camera, it's choosing the MacBook microphone. You could change all these settings by clicking on it. You can also enter in your name on the left-hand side right here and choose whether you're using headphones or not. And from there, you just have to join the studio. So if I go ahead and I join, this is what it's gonna look like. As you guys can see, I'm on the left-hand side right here and whoever joins is gonna be on the right-hand side. Down here at the bottom, you have the record button. So so it's recommended to run a short test to check everyone's environment and also just make sure that you're able to record because sometimes there are some technical difficulties so you guys should get that sorted out first and yeah you guys can mute yourself you can turn off your camera you can mute the mic you can go to the script over here you have some settings for removing the background noise as well as echo cancellation right here you can name the recording and then down here you can also access the chat so this is where you can message everybody and you also have media so this is where you can add some things like clapping cheering a drum joke yeah a bunch of different things that you guys can do when you guys are having a podcast. So yeah, I highly recommend that you guys just mess around with it. There's so many different settings that you guys can play with. And yeah, that's pretty much how you can record video calls online for your podcast. Again, we'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out Riverside. I highly recommend getting the standard plan or you can start off with the free plan and then upgrade later. But yeah, if you're serious about creating content for your podcast, then you're definitely gonna want the standard plan for the 4K quality, as well as the ability to remove your watermark. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys got some value out of it. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like 
like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials like this. So yeah, if you're interested in videos like this, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Thank you guys so much for your time and I will see you in the next video.